What would you like to eat, Peter? The cheese sandwiches are the cheapest. Uh, um, oh, a cheese sandwich, please, Christina. Cheese. Mm. Janine, would you like a beef sandwich or a cheese sandwich? A cheese sandwich, please. What about you, Christina? Would you like cheese or beef? Are you all ready to order? What would you like to eat? Uh, we'll have one beef sandwich, two cheese sandwiches, and um, tea for me. Tea for me too, please. Yes, uh, make that three teas, please. One beef sandwich, two cheese sandwiches, and three teas. What would you like to eat, Peter? The cheese sandwiches are the cheapest. Uh, um, oh, a cheese sandwich, please, Christina. Cheese. Mm. Janine, would you like a beef sandwich or a cheese sandwich? A cheese sandwich, please. What about you, Christina? Would you like cheese or beef? Are you all ready to order? What would you like to eat? Uh, we'll have one beef sandwich, two cheese sandwiches, and um, tea for me. Tea for me too, please. Yes, uh, make that three teas, please. One beef sandwich, two cheese sandwiches, and three teas. Three interesting films. Good evening, Mrs. Lee. Is Kim in? Is he coming to the cinema, Mrs. Lee? It's the children's film festival. Kim's ill. Here he is. Hi, Kim. Hi, Gina. Hi, Bill. Kim, we've got these three free tickets to see three prize-winning films for children. Listen, Kim. Is it interesting? We think it is. First, there's a short film about gorillas and chimpanzees in Africa, and... Then, the next film is about the six best Olympic gymnastic competitions, and then... Then, it's the big film, The History of English Cricket. Cricket? It's a terrific film. If you're ill, Kim... It would be a pity to miss it. Now listen, you kids. And it begins... Now listen, you kids. And it begins in 50 minutes. Kim! Quick! Or we'll miss the beginning of the gorilla film. Three interesting films. Good evening, Mrs. Lee. Is Kim in? Is he coming to the cinema, Mrs. Lee? It's the children's film festival. Kim's ill. Here he is. Hi, Kim. Hi, Gina. Hi, Bill. Kim. We've got these three free tickets to see three prize-winning films for children. Listen, Kim. Is it interesting? We think it is. First, there's a short film about gorillas and chimpanzees in Africa. And... Then, the next film is about the six best Olympic gymnastic competitions. And then... Then, it's the big film, The History of English Cricket. Cricket? It's a terrific film. If you're ill, Kim... It would be a pity to miss it. Now listen, you kids. And it begins... Now listen, you kids. And it begins in 50 minutes. Kim! Quick, or we'll miss the beginning of the gorilla film. 3B. Friends. Hi, Emma. Hi, Ben. Hello, Emily. Hello, Eddie. Hi, everybody. Hi, Adele. Nice to see you again, Adele. Kevin, this is Adele. Adele, this is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Are you listening to the Red Hot Chili Peppers? It's terribly loud. Yes. Is that better? Mm-hmm. Are you a friend of Emma's? Yes. Emma said she had a friend called Adele. Help yourself to Mexican food, Adele. It's on the kitchen bench. And there's French bread on the shelf. Can I get you a drink, Adele? Yes, thanks, Ben. Some lemonade with a bit of ice in it. Have you met my friend Adele yet, Kevin? Yes, I've just met her. She's very friendly. How did you spend your holiday, Adele? Adele? I went to South America with my best friend, Kerry. 
Well, wow. we're all jealous. Was it expensive? Not very, but I spent everything. I haven't any money left. 3B. Friends. Hi, Emma. Hi, Ben. Hello, Emily. Hello, Eddie. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hi Adele. Adele. Nice to see you again, Adele. Kevin, this is Adele. Adele, this is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Are you listening to the Red Hot Chili Peppers? It's terribly loud. Yes. Is that better? Mm-hmm. Are you a friend of Emma's? Yes. Emma said she had a friend called Adele. Help yourself to Mexican food, Adele. It's on the kitchen bench. And there's French bread on the shelf. Can I get you a drink, Adele? Yes, thanks, Ben. Some lemonade with a bit of ice in it. Have you met my friend Adele yet, Kevin? Yes, I've just met her. She's very friendly. How did you spend your holiday, Adele? Adele? I went to South America with my best friend, Kerry. Wow. wow. We're all jealous. Was it expensive? Not very, but I spent everything. I haven't any money left. 3B. Aaron's recorded messages. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hi Aaron, this is Annabelle. Uh, I guess you're having a fabulous holiday in Amsterdam. Well, I have to tell you that after you left yesterday, there was this uh, smelly anchovy and salad sandwich you left on your desk, Aaron. As you can imagine, Mrs. Allen wasn't very happy about that. She says you create a bad atmosphere in the Ajax travel agency. And when you come back, <laughs> you have to keep your desk spick and span. <laughs> That's what she said, Aaron. Spick and span. Send me a text message. Bye. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Good morning, Aaron. This is Anthony. Sorry, I have to contact you about the maps. Mrs. Allen can't find the map of Africa. She said you had it on Saturday. Call me back. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hello, Aaron. This is Janet. Just telling you to watch out for Mrs. Allen when you get back. She says you've been absent from work every Wednesday and every second Saturday, and it's getting to be a bit of a bad habit. <laughs> anyway, have a fantastic holiday. John, you Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hi, this is Annabelle again. Anthony said he left a message on your message bank about that map and you haven't got back. Uh, there's another matter now. Apparently, just before you left for Amsterdam, you actually booked a passenger to San Salvador with three animals. <laughs> one anteater, one antelope and one alligator. <laughs> You're mad, Aaron. Mrs. Allen's really angry about that. Phone back, Aaron or send a text message with your landline number. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, Aaron, this is Anthony. <laughs> Sorry, I have to let you know what's happened at the travel agency. Um, well... <laughs> The computer has crashed and you hadn't done the backup on any of the advertising programs. Mrs. Allen's uh, very angry. <laughs> you absolutely have to phone back 
or send a message with your fax number. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Janet here. Anthony said to tell you the best advertising contracts have been cancelled. Mrs. Allen said it was your bad management. Now, Aaron, you just have to call back, back. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Aaron, Janet here. You don't have to call back. In fact, you don't have to come back. It doesn't matter. Anthony says, Mrs. Allen says, you're sacked. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hi, Aaron. This is Annabelle. I've heard you're sacked. I'm very sad about that, Aaron, and I'm going to miss chatting with you in the canteen. I know you're having a fabulous holiday and I'll contact me when you get back. Bye, Aaron. 3B. Aaron's recorded messages. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hi Aaron, this is Annabelle. Uh, I guess you're having a fabulous holiday in Amsterdam. Well, I have to tell you that after you left yesterday, there was this uh, smelly anchovy and salad sandwich you left on your desk, Aaron. As you can imagine, Mrs Allen wasn't very happy about that. She says you create a bad atmosphere in the Ajax travel agency. And when you come back, <laughs> you have to keep your desk spick and span. <laughs> That's what she said, Aaron. Spick and span. Send me a text message. Bye. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Good morning, Aaron. This is Anthony. Sorry, I have to contact you about the maps. Mrs. Allen can't find the map of Africa. She said you had it on Saturday. Call me back. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hello, Aaron. This is Janet. Just telling you to watch out for Mrs. Allen when you get back. She says you've been absent from work every Wednesday and every second Saturday, and it's getting to be a bit of a bad habit. <laughs> anyway, have a fantastic holiday. Thank about. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hi, this is Annabelle again. Anthony said he left a message on your message bank about that map and you haven't got back. Uh, there's another matter now. Apparently, just before you left for Amsterdam, you actually booked a passenger to San Salvador with three animals. <laughs> one anteater, one antelope and one alligator. <laughs> You're mad, Aaron. Mrs. Allen's really angry about that. Phone back, Aaron or send a text message with your landline number. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Advertising. Uh, Aaron, this is Anthony. Sorry, I have to let you know what's happened at the travel agency. Um, well... The computer has crashed and you hadn't done the backup on any of the advertising programs. Mrs. Allen's uh, very angry. 
you absolutely have to phone back or send a message with your fax number. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Janet here. Anthony said to tell you the best advertising contracts have been cancelled. Mrs. Allen said it was your bad management. Now, Aaron, you just have to call back. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Aaron, Janet here. You don't have to call back. In fact, you don't have to come back. It doesn't matter. Anthony says, Mrs. Allen says, you're sacked. Hi, this is Aaron. Leave a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hi, Aaron. This is Annabelle. I've heard you're sacked. I'm very sad about that, Aaron, and I'm going to miss chatting with you in the canteen. I know you're having a fabulous holiday in Amsterdam when you get back. Bye, Aaron. 3B. She doesn't love him. Honey, why are you so sad? Honey, why are you so unhappy? I don't understand. You don't love me, Jasmine. But Duncan, I love you very much. That's untrue, Jasmine. You love my cousin. Justin? No, his brother. Dudley! No, stop being funny, Jasmine. Not that one. The other brother, Hunter. You think he's lovely and I'm unattractive. Duncan, that's utter rubbish. And Hunter loves you, too. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Duncan. Just once last month, I had lunch with Hunter. You mustn't worry. I like your company much better than Hunter's. Hunter's... Oh, just shut up, Jasmine. But, honey, I think you're wonderful. Oh, shut up, Jasmine. Now that... Jasmine. Now that's enough. You're just jealous, Duncan. You shut up. 3B. She doesn't love him. Honey... Why are you so sad? Honey, why are you so unhappy? I don't understand. You don't love me, Jasmine. But Duncan, I love you very much. That's untrue, Jasmine. You love my cousin. Justin? No, his brother. Dudley? No, stop being funny, Jasmine. Not that one. The other brother, Hunter. You think he's lovely and... I'm unattractive. Duncan, that's utter rubbish. And Hunter loves you, too. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Duncan, just once last month I had lunch with Hunter. You mustn't worry. I like your company much better than Hunter's. Hunter's... Oh, just shut up, Jasmine. But, honey, I think you're wonderful. Oh, shut up, Jasmine. Now that... Jasmine. Now that's enough. You're just jealous, Duncan. You shut up. 3B. At a party. What a marvellous party this is. I'm having so much fun, Margaret. Where's your glass, Alana? Oh, here you are. Thanks. That's enough. Alana, Margaret, come into the garden. Tara Darling and Marcus Marsh are dancing on the grass. In the dark? They're dancing under the stars. Fantastic. And Bart Jackson is playing his guitar. Just look at Tara. She can't dance, but she looks very smart. Look at Marcus. What a fabulous dancer. What an attractive couple they are. Let's take a photograph of them. 3B at a party. What a marvellous party this is. I'm having so much fun, Margaret. Where's your glass, Alana? Oh, here you are. Thanks. That's enough. Alana, Margaret, come into the garden. Tara Darling and Marcus Marsh are dancing on the grass. In the dark?
dark? They're dancing under the stars. Fantastic. And Bart Jackson is playing his guitar. Just look at Tara. She can't dance, but she looks very smart. Look at Marcus. What a fabulous dancer. What an attractive couple they are. Let's take a photograph of them. Three B, TV advertisement for Onwash. Ah, <sighs> uh, what's wrong with you, Mrs. Bloggs? What's wrong with me? I want a holiday from this horrible job of washing socks. Buy a bottle of Onwash, Mrs. Bloggs. Onwash is so soft and strong. You don't want lots of hot water with Onwash. It's not a long job with Onwash. Use Onwash often. You won't be sorry when you've got Onwash. Everybody wants Onwash. Onwash is so popular. Three B, TV advertisement for Onwash. Ah. <sighs> uh. What's wrong with you, Mrs. Bloggs? What's wrong with me? I want a holiday from this horrible job of washing socks. Buy a bottle of Onwash, Mrs. Bloggs. Onwash is so soft and strong. You don't want lots of hot water with Onwash. It's not a long job with Onwash. Use Onwash often. You won't be sorry when you've got Onwash. Everybody wants Onwash. Onwash is so popular. Four. Three B, sports report from Radio Station Four. This morning, the Roarers football team arrived back from York. Laura Short is our sports reporter, and she was at the airport. Good morning, listeners. This is Laura Short. All the footballers are walking towards me. Here's George Ball, the goalkeeper. Good morning, George. Good morning. Are you a reporter? Yes, George. I'm Laura Short from Radio Station Four. Tell us about the football match with York. Well, it was awful. We lost, and the score was forty-four-four. But it wasn't my fault, Laura. Whose fault was it, George? The forwards. The forwards. Yes, the forwards. They were always falling over or losing the ball. Three B, sports report from Radio Station Four. This morning, the Roarers football team arrived back from York. Laura Short is our sports reporter, and she was at the airport. Good morning, listeners. This is Laura Short. All the footballers are walking towards me. Here's George Ball, the goalkeeper. Good morning, George. Good morning. Are you a reporter? Yes, George. I'm Laura Short from Radio Station Four. Tell us about the football match with York. Well, it was awful. We lost, and the score was forty-four-four. But it wasn't my fault, Laura. Whose fault was it, George? The forwards. The forwards. Yes, the forwards. They were always falling over or losing the ball. Three B, a lost book. Could you tell me where you've put my book, Bronwyn? Isn't it on the bookshelf? No, the bookshelf is full of your cookery books. Then you should look in the bedroom, shouldn't you? I've looked. You took that book and put it somewhere, didn't you? The living room? No, I've looked. I'm going to put all my books in a box and lock it. Look, John, it's on the floor next to your foot. Ah. Good. Three B, a lost book. Could you tell me where you've put my book, Bronwyn? Isn't it on the bookshelf? No, the bookshelf is full of your cookery books. Then you should look in the bedroom, shouldn't you? I've looked. You took that book and put it somewhere, didn't you? The living room? No, I've looked. I'm going to put all my books in a box and lock it. Look, John, it's on the floor next to your foot.
Ah, good. Three B, the two rudest students in the school. Good afternoon, girls. Good, good afternoon, afternoon, Miss Luke. This afternoon, we're going to learn how to cook soup. Turn on your computers and look at Unit Twenty Two. Excuse me, Miss Luke. Yes, Lucy. There's some chewing gum on your shoe. Who threw their chewing gum on the floor? Was it you, Lucy? No, Miss Luke. It was Susan. Who? Susan Duke. It wasn't me, stupid. It was Julie. It was you. It wasn't me. My mouth's full of chewing gum. Look, Miss Luke. Stop pulling my hair, Susan. It was you. 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 Excuse me. If you two continue with this rudeness, you can stay after school instead of going to the pool. Three B, the two rudest students in the school. Good afternoon, girls. Good, Good afternoon, afternoon, Miss Luke. This afternoon, we're going to learn how to cook soup. Turn on your computers and look at Unit Twenty Two. Excuse me, Miss Luke. Yes, Lucy. There's some chewing gum on your shoe. Who threw their chewing gum on the floor? Was it you, Lucy? No, Miss Luke. It was Susan. Who? Susan Duke. It wasn't me, stupid. It was Julie. It was you. It wasn't me. My mouth's full of chewing gum. Look, Miss Luke. Stop pulling my hair, Susan. It was you. 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 Excuse me. If you two continue with this rudeness, you can stay after school instead of going to the pool. Four A. Excuse me. Yes. Could you tell me where I can get some shoelaces? Yes. There's a shop next to the supermarket that sells very good shoelaces. I'm going there too. Four A. Excuse me. Yes. Could you tell me where I can get some shoelaces? Yes. There's a shop next to the supermarket that sells very good shoelaces. I'm going there too. Three B, the worst nurse. Uh, nurse, nurse, I'm thirsty. Nurse, my head hurts. Nurse Sherman always wears such dirty shirts. He never arrives at work early. He and、uh, Nurse Turner weren't at work on Thursday, were they?、Uh, no, they weren't. Nurse Sherman is the worst nurse in the ward, isn't he, Sir Herbert? No, he isn't, Colonel Burton. He's the worst nurse in the world. Three B, the worst nurse.、Uh, nurse, nurse, I'm thirsty. Nurse, my head hurts. Nurse Sherman always wears such dirty shirts. He never arrives at work early. He and、uh, Nurse Turner weren't at work on Thursday, were they?、Uh, no, they weren't. Nurse Sherman is the worst nurse in the ward, isn't he, Sir Herbert? No, he isn't, Colonel Burton. He's the worst nurse in the world. Four B. I'm going to the library. Can you buy something for me at the newsagents? But the newsagents is a mile from the library. No, not that newsagents, not the one that's next to the fish and chip shop. I mean the one that's near the butchers. Oh yes. Well, what do you want? 
some chocolates and a tin of sweets and an address book. 4B. I'm going to the library. Can you buy something for me at the newsagents? But the newsagents is a mile from the library. No, not that newsagents. Not the one that's next to the fish and chip shop. I mean the one that's near the butchers. Oh, yes. Well, what do you want? Some chocolates and a tin of sweets and an address book. 3B. At the railway station. This train's late. I've been waiting here for ages. Which train? The 818 to Baker Street. The 818? I'm afraid you've made a mistake, sir. A mistake? My timetable says Baker Street train 818. Oh, no. The Baker Street train leaves at 808. At 808? They changed the timetable at the end of April. It's the 1st of May today. Changed it? May I see the new timetable? What does it say? It says Baker Street train 808. Oh, no. You're right. The train isn't late. I am. 3B. At the railway station. This train's late. I've been waiting here for ages. Which train? The 818 to Baker Street. The 818? I'm afraid you've made a mistake, sir. A mistake? My timetable says Baker Street train 818. Oh, no. The Baker Street train leaves at 808. At 808? They changed the timetable at the end of April. It's the 1st of May today. Changed it? May I see the new timetable? What does it say? It says Baker Street train 808. Oh, no. You're right. The train isn't late. I am. Hi, Nigel. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Caroline. You're looking nice, Caroline. Would you like some iced coffee, Caroline? No, thanks, Nigel. I'm busy typing. I have 99 pages to type by Friday. Oh, never mind. Do you like motorbike riding, Caroline? Sometimes. Oh, my mobile. Hello? <laughs> Hi, Riley. Mmm. <laughs> I'd like that. Mm. At five, at the library. It's 19 High Street. Bye-bye. Would you like to come riding with me tonight, Caroline? Not tonight, Nigel. I'm going for a drive with Riley. Oh. Oh. What about Friday? Friday? I'm going climbing with Miles. All right, then. Bye. Caroline, Nigel's put something behind your computer. Is it something nice, Heidi? No, it's a spider. 3B. Heidi, Caroline and Nigel. Hi, Nigel. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Caroline. You're looking nice, Caroline. Would you like some iced coffee, Caroline? No, thanks, Nigel. I'm busy typing. I have 99 pages to type by Friday. Oh, never mind. Do you like motorbike riding, Caroline? Sometimes. Oh, my mobile. Hello? <laughs> Hi, Riley. Mmm. <laughs> I'd like that. Mm. At five, at the library. It's 19 High Street. Bye-bye. Would you like to come riding with me tonight, Caroline? Not tonight, Nigel. I'm going for a drive with Riley. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What about Friday? Friday? I'm going climbing with Miles. All right, then. 
Bye. Caroline, Nigel's put something behind your computer. Is it something nice, Heidi? No, it's a spider. Royce. What a terrible noise, Mrs. Royal. Isn't it annoying, Roy? It's out of oil. A Rolls Royce. Out of oil. And look, the water's boiling. Perhaps you've spoilt the motor, or even destroyed it. How disappointing. It's such a beautiful Rolls Royce. And a Rolls Royce isn't a toy. How disappointing. I'll be late for my appointment. 3B. Joyce Royals Rolls Royce. What a terrible noise, Mrs. Royal. Isn't it annoying, Roy? It's out of oil. A Rolls Royce. Out of oil. And look, the water's boiling. Perhaps you've spoilt the motor or even destroyed it. How disappointing. It's such a beautiful Rolls Royce. And a Rolls Royce isn't a toy. How disappointing. I'll be late for my appointment. 3B. A mouse in the house. I found a mouse. Ow! You're shouting too loudly. Sit down and don't frown. <sighs> I found a mouse in the house. A brown mouse? Yes, a little round mouse. It's running around in the lounge. On the ground? Yes. It's under the couch now. Well, get it out. How? Turn the couch upside down. Get it out somehow. We don't want a mouse in our house. Ours is the cleanest house in the town. 3B. A mouse in the house. I found a mouse. Ow! You're shouting too loudly. Sit down and don't frown. <sighs> I found a mouse in the house. A brown mouse? Yes, a little round mouse. It's running around in the lounge. On the ground? Yes, it's under the couch now. Well, get it out. How? Turn the couch upside down. Get it out somehow. We don't want a mouse in our house. Ours is the cleanest house in the town. Oh, in October. <gasps> Joe! 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 Hello! Wake up, Joe! Oh, oh, what is it, Joanna? Look out of the window! No. My eyes are closed and I'm going to go to sleep again. Oh, don't go to sleep, Joe. Look at the snow. Snow? But it's only October. I know there's no snow. Come over to the window, Joe. You're joking, Joanna. There's no snow. OK. I'll put my coat on and go out and make a snowball and throw it at your nose, Joe Jones. 3B. Snow in October. <gasps> Joe! 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 Hello! Wake up, Joe! Oh, oh, what is it, Joanna? Look out of the window! No. My eyes are closed and I'm going to go to sleep again. Oh, don't go to sleep, Joe! Look at the snow! Snow? But it's only October. I know there's no snow. Come over to the window, Joe. You're joking, Joanna. There's no snow. OK. I'll put my coat on and go out and make a snowball and throw it at your nose, Joe Jones. 4A 3B A bearded mountaineer Oh, let's have a beer here, dear. What a good idea. They have very good beer here. 
We came here last year. The atmosphere here is very clear. But it's windier than last year. Hmm. Uh, two beers, please. Look, dear. Look at that mountaineer drinking beer. Oh, his beard is in his beer. His beard has nearly disappeared into his beer. Shh. He might hear. Here you are, sir. Two beers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to the bearded mountaineer. Ha. Three B, a bearded mountaineer. Oh, let's have a beer here, dear. What a good idea! They have very good beer here. We came here last year. The atmosphere here is very clear. But it's windier than last year. Hmm.、Uh, two beers, please. Look, dear. Look at that mountaineer drinking beer. Oh, his beard is in his beer. His beard has nearly disappeared into his beer. Shh. He might hear. Here you are, sir. Two beers. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Here's to the bearded mountaineer. Ha. Three B, a pair of hair clips. Ah, I've lost two small hair clips, Claire. They're a pair. Have you looked carefully everywhere? Yes, they're nowhere here. They just aren't anywhere. Have you looked upstairs? Upstairs, downstairs, everywhere. They just aren't there. Hmm. Are they square, Mary? Yes. Why? Well, you're wearing one of them in your hair. Oh. Then where's the other one? It's over there, under that chair. Three、mm. B, a pair of hair clips. Ah, <sighs> I've lost two small hair clips, Claire. They're a pair. Have you looked carefully everywhere? Yes. They're nowhere here. They just aren't anywhere. Have you looked upstairs? Upstairs, downstairs, everywhere. They just aren't there. Hmm. Are they square, Mary? Yes. Why? Well, you're wearing one of them in your hair. Oh. Then where's the other one? It's over there, under that chair. Hmm. Three B, a damaged telephone line. Hello, this is double two double eight triple two eight. Hello, Daisy. This is David. Oh, hi, darling. What did you do yesterday, Daisy? You forgot our date, didn't you? Well, it rained all day, David, and I had a bad cold, so I, uh, decided to stay at home. Did you? I phoned twenty times and nobody answered. Oh. The telephone line was damaged. They repaired it today. Well, Daisy. What, David? Oh, don't worry about it. What did、um, Donald do yesterday? Did he and Diane go dancing? No, they didn't yesterday. They just stayed at home and played cards. Played cards. And what did you do? Did you play cards too? No. Jordan and I listened to the radio and、uh, studied. What did you do yesterday, David? I've just told you, Daisy. I tried to phone you twenty times. Three B, a damaged telephone line. Hello. This is double two double eight triple two eight. Hello, Daisy. This is David. Oh. Hi, darling. What did you do yesterday, Daisy? You forgot our date, didn't you? Well, it rained all day, David, and I had a bad cold, so I, uh, decided to stay at home. Did you? I phoned twenty times and nobody answered. 
Oh, the telephone line was damaged. They repaired it today. Well, Daisy. What, David? Oh, don't worry about it. What did um, Donald do yesterday? Did he and Diane go dancing? No, they didn't yesterday. They just stayed at home and played cards. And what played cards? And what did you do? Did you play cards too? No. Jordan and I listened to the radio and uh studied. What did you do yesterday, David? I've just told you, Daisy. I tried to phone you twenty times. Four. Three B. Craig and Maggie's answering machine. Craig and Maggie are unable to take your call. Please leave a message and we'll get back to you. Hi, Craig. Hi, Maggie. This is Greg. Carol and I are coming back to Glasgow. Uh, can we stay again for a couple of days? Bye. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Craig. This is Greg again. Carol says I forgot to tell you. We're coming in a couple of weeks. Is that okay? I'm not sure exactly, but it's、uh, the beginning of August.、Uh, I'll call you again. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Maggie. This is Carol. I'm so glad I'm going to see you again. We can catch up on all the gossip <laughs> and go shopping. Egg,、uh, Guys can play computer games. <laughs> I guess you're out. Give us a call. Bye. Hi there, Craig and Maggie. This is Greg.、Uh, did you get our messages? Uh, is it okay if we come? Uh, give us a call. Bye. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Craig. Did you get Greg's message that we're coming at the beginning of August? I think he forgot to tell you it's the second. Actually, <laughs> I guess you've gone away for the weekend. <laughs> give us a call when you get back. Bye. Hi there. This is Carol again. We've just got your postcard from Portugal and the photographs. <laughs> so you're in Portugal until the beginning of August, and then you're going to Greece. <laughs> and I don't suppose you'll get this message <laughs> until you get this message. Suppose you'll get this message <laughs> until you get back. Well, I hope you have a great time in Greece. <laughs> Hi, Craig and Maggie. This is Greg.、Uh, I like the photograph of Craig in that magnificent Portuguese garden.、Um, we're still going to come to Glasgow, and、uh, we hope it's okay if we、uh, camp in your garden while you're in Greece. We'll be very grateful, and we'll、uh, cut the grass for you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Three <laughs> B. Craig and Maggie's answering machine. Craig and Maggie are unable to take your call. Please leave a message, and we'll get back to you. Hi, Craig. Hi, Maggie. This is Greg. Carol and I are coming back to Glasgow.、Uh, can we stay again for a couple of days? Bye. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Craig. This is Greg again. Carol says I forgot to tell you, we're coming in a couple of weeks. Is that okay? I'm not sure exactly, but it's、uh, the beginning of August.、Uh, I'll call you again. Bye. <laughs> Hi, Maggie. This is Carol. I'm so glad I'm going to see you again. We can catch up on all the gossip <laughs> and go shopping. Guys can play computer games. <laughs> I guess you're out. Give us a call. Bye. Hi there, Craig and Maggie. This is Greg.、Uh, did you get our messages?、Uh, is it okay if we come?、Uh, give us a call. Bye. Hi, Maggie. Hi, Craig. Did you get Greg's message that we're coming at the beginning of August? I think he forgot to tell you it's the second. Actually, <laughs> I 
I guess you've gone away for the weekend. <laughs> Give us a call when you get back. Bye. Hi there, this is Carol again. We've just got your postcard from Portugal and the photographs. <laughs> so you're in Portugal until the beginning of August and then you're going to Greece. <laughs> and I don't suppose you'll get this message <laughs> until you get back. I don't suppose you'll get this message <laughs> until you get back. Well, I hope you have a great time in Greece. <laughs> Hi, Craig and Maggie. This is Craig. Uh, I like the photograph of Craig in that magnificent Portuguese garden. Um, we're still going to come to Glasgow and uh, we hope it's okay if we uh, camp in your garden while you're in Greece. We'll be very grateful and we'll uh, cut the grass for you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 3B Let's go to the seaside on Saturday, sweetie. Yes, let's go sailing and water skiing. That's exciting. Mm, it's expensive, sweetie. Let's just sit in the sun and go swimming instead. Let's stay in the Six Star Hotel and spend Sunday there too. Oh, be sensible, Sue. It's too expensive. Let's sleep outside instead. Sleep on the sand? You never want to spend more than the smallest possible sum of money, Sam Smith. You're such a cheapskate. 3B. It's expensive. Let's go to the seaside on Saturday, sweetie. Yes, let's go sailing and water skiing. That's exciting. Mm, it's expensive, sweetie. Let's just sit in the sun and go swimming instead. Let's stay in the Six Star Hotel and spend Sunday there too. Oh, be sensible, Sue. It's too expensive. Let's sleep outside instead. Sleep on the sand? You never want to spend more than the smallest possible sum of money, Sam Smith. You're such a cheapskate. 3B. Surprises in the post office. This parcel smells, Mrs. Lazarus. Call me Zena, Susan. Yes, Zena. Something's written on it. What does it say? It says, This parcel contains six mice. Oh, isn't that awful, Zena? Poor animals. And listen, Susan. What's in this sack? It's making a strange hissing noise. Zena, it's a sack of snakes. <gasps> so it is. And what do you think's in this box, Susan? It's making a buzzing sound. <laughs> Those are bees. A box of mice and a sack of snakes and a box of bees. What do you think about this, Susan? On your first day in the parcels office, isn't it surprising? Amazing! This isn't a post office, it's a zoo! 3B. Surprises in the post office. This parcel smells, Mrs. Lazarus. Call me Zena, Susan. Yes, Zena. Something's written on it. What does it say? It says, This parcel contains six mice. Oh, isn't that awful, Zena? Poor animals. And listen, Susan. What's in this sack? It's making a strange hissing noise. <laughs> Zena, it's a sack of snakes. <gasps> So it is. And what do you think's in this box, Susan? It's making a buzzing sound. <laughs> Those are bees. Box of bustle of mice and a sack of snakes and a box of bees. Oh, 
What do you think about this, Susan? On your first day in the parcels office, isn't it surprising? Amazing! This isn't a post office, it's a zoo! 3B. A special washing machine. Does this shop sell washing machines? Yes. This is the latest washing machine. Is it Swedish? No, madam. It's English. Could you show me how it washes? Shall I give you a demonstration? This one is our special demonstration machine. It's so simple. You take some sheets and shirts, you put them in the machine, you shut this door, and you push this button. The machine shouldn't shake like that, should it? Washing machines always shake, madam. Ah, it's finished now. But the sheets have shrunk, and so have the shirts. So have the shirts. Do you wish to buy this machine, madam? I'm not sure. 3B. A special washing machine. Does this shop sell washing machines? Yes. This is the latest washing machine. Is it Swedish? No, madam. It's English. Could you show me how it washes? Shall I give you a demonstration? This one is our special demonstration machine. It's so simple. You take some sheets and shirts, you put them in the machine, you shut this door, and you push this button. The machine shouldn't shake like that, should it? Washing machines always shake, madam. Ah, it's finished now. The sheets have shrunk, and so have the shirts. So have the shirts. Do you wish to buy this machine, madam? I'm not sure. 4B. English shops. Danish ships. Scottish sheep. Swedish shampoo. French champagne. Irish sheets. Polish shirts. Finnish shorts. Turkish sugar. Spanish shoes. 4B. English shops. Danish ships. Scottish sheep. Swedish shampoo. French champagne. Irish sheets. Polish shirts. Finnish shorts. Turkish sugar. Spanish shoes. 3B. At the butcher's shop. Charles Cheshire is a very cheerful, charming butcher. Ah! Good morning, Mrs Church. Good morning, Charles. I'd like some chops for the children's lunch. Chump chops or shoulder chops, Mrs Church? I'll have four shoulder chops and I want a small chicken. Ah, would you like to choose a chicken, Mrs Church? Which one is cheaper? This one's the cheapest. It's a delicious chicken. How much is all that? I haven't got cash. Can I pay by credit card? Of course, Mrs Church. 3B. At the butcher's shop. Charles Cheshire is a very cheerful, charming butcher. Ah. Good morning, Mrs Church. Good morning, Charles. I'd like some chops for the children's lunch. Chump chops or shoulder chops, Mrs Church? I'll have four shoulder chops and I want a small chicken. Ah. Would you like to choose a chicken, Mrs Church? Which one is cheaper? This one's the cheapest. It's a delicious chicken. How much is all that? I haven't got cash. Can I pay by credit card? Of course, Mrs Church. 2D. 
Are you joking? I want a larch tree. It's a jeep type of car. A land full of riches. Do I write H here? Do you like Jerry's? Two F. One. I don't want you to choke. Two. She planted a large tree in the garden. Three. I don't like those cheap kinds of cars. Four. This is my new watch, Jane. Five. It's chilly in the garden. Six. The crowd jeered when he finished speaking. Two F. One. I don't want you to choke. Two. She planted a large tree in the garden. Three. I don't like those cheap kinds of cars. Four. This is my new watch, Jane. Five. It's chilly in the garden. Six. The crowd jeered when he finished speaking. Three B, a dangerous bridge. Just outside this village, there's a very dangerous bridge. Yes, Charles told me two jeeps crashed on it in January. What happened? Well, George Churchill was the driver of the larger jeep, and he was driving very dangerously. George Churchill? Do I know George Churchill? Yes, that ginger-haired chap. He's the manager of the travel agency in Chester. Oh yes, I remember George. He's always telling jokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, was anybody injured? Oh yes, the other jeep went over the edge of the bridge, and two children and another passenger were badly injured. Oh dear, were both the jeeps damaged? Oh yes. <sighs> And what happened to George? George? <laughs> He's telling jokes in jail now, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> 3B, a dangerous bridge. Just outside this village, there's a very dangerous bridge. Yes, Charles told me two jeeps crashed on it in January. What happened? Well, George Churchill was the driver of the larger jeep, and he was driving very dangerously. George Churchill. Do I know George Churchill? Yes, that ginger-haired chap. He's the manager of the travel agency in Chester. Oh yes, I remember George. He's always telling jokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, was anybody injured? Oh yes, the other jeep went over the edge of the bridge, and two children and another passenger were badly injured. Oh dear. Were both the jeeps damaged? Oh yes. And what happened to George? George? He's telling jokes in jail now, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Test four. Would you like some coffee? I'd actually like some hot chocolate. Well. You know how to make that, don't you? You just heat up the milk, put the chocolate in the cup. And then pour the hot milk over it. And add some of these marshmallows I brought. Would you like some hot chocolate? With a few extra marshmallows? Mmm. Test four. Would you like some coffee? I'd actually like some hot chocolate. Well, you know how to make that, don't you? You just heat up the milk, put the chocolate in the cup, and then pour the hot milk over it. And add some of these marshmallows I brought. Would you like some hot chocolate? With a few extra marshmallows? Mmm. Three B, a funny photographer. Good afternoon. How can I help you? I'm Fred Phillips. 
I want a photograph of myself and my wife, Philippa. Certainly, Mr. Phillips. Please fill in this form. I'll fill it in, Fred. Please use this felt-tip pen, Mrs. Phillips. Mr. Phillips, do you prefer a full front photograph or a profile? A full front, don't you think, Philippa? Yes, a full front photograph. Full front. It's finished. Thank you, Mrs. Phillips. Please sit on this sofa. Is it comfortable? Yes, it feels fine. Uh, Mr. Phillips, please give a friendly laugh. That's difficult. If you say something funny, I can laugh. And Mrs. Phillips, please look soft and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, finished. Ready for... Finished? Finished, finished Mr. Phillips. Will the photograph be ready for the 5th of February? Yes. Please phone my office after five days, Mrs. Phillips. 3B. A funny photographer. Good afternoon. How can I help you? I'm Fred Phillips. I want a photograph of myself and my wife, Philippa. Certainly, Mr. Phillips. Please fill in this form. I'll fill it in, Fred. Please use this felt-tip pen, Mrs. Phillips. Mr. Phillips, do you prefer a full front photograph or a profile? A full front, don't you think, Philippa? Yes, a full front photograph. Full front. It's finished. Thank you, Mrs. Phillips. Please sit on this sofa. Is it comfortable? Yes, it feels fine. And Mr. Phillips, please give a friendly laugh. That's difficult. If you say something funny, I can laugh. And, Mrs. Phillips, please look soft and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, finished. Finished? Finished, Mr. Phillips. Will the photograph be ready for the 5th of February? Yes. Please phone my office after five days, Mrs. Phillips. Four. If Fred laughs, he looks funny. If Grandfather flies, he gets frightened. If you want to eat fish, you need a knife and fork. If you telephone information, they're helpful. If you fry food, it gets full of fat. If they're from France, they can speak French. If you finish before the others, you're first. 2F 1 We always lift carefully. 2 Halve the apple. 3 New York is a fast city. 4. We've got the boat. 5. There should be 50 bolts. 6. Is safe an adjective or a verb? 3b. A fine view. Has the Vander family lived here for very long, Victor? Five and a half years, Vivian. We arrived on the 1st of February. What a lovely view you have. Yes, it's fabulous. Look, you can see the village down in the valley. Yes, we just love living here because of the view. 3B, a fine view. Has the Vander family lived here for very long, Victor? Five and a half years, Vivian. We arrived on the 1st of February. What a lovely view you have. Yes, it's fabulous. Look, you can see the village down in the valley. Yes, we just love living here because of the view. 4A This is a photograph of a fat farmer arriving at a village. The village is in a valley. The farmer's driving a van. It's the 17th of November. 
It's a fine day, but it's very cold. Some of the leaves have fallen from the vine in the foreground of the photograph. 4A This is a photograph of a fat farmer arriving at a village. The village is in a valley. The farmer's driving a van. It's the 17th of November. It's a fine day, but it's very cold. Some of the leaves have fallen from the vine in the foreground of the photograph. 2C V didn't come before you. We didn't come before you. That's the vest. That's the west. The dog's vet. The dog's wet. This is my best vine. This is my best wine. It's a blue veil. It's a blue whale. 2D. It's a blue whale. This is my best vine. The dog's wet. That's the West. V didn't come before you. 3B. A walk in the woods. I saw William again on Wednesday, Winona. Oh, William again. <laughs> well, what happened? We went for a lovely walk in the woods. Oh, in the wet. Wasn't it? Very wet on Wednesday. It was very cold and wet, but we were wearing very warm clothes and we walked quickly to keep warm. Is that the woods next to the railway? It's not very quiet. Yes, but further away from the railway it was very quiet and there were wild squirrels everywhere. We counted 20 squirrels. 20 squirrels? And what did you do for lunch? A picnic with the squirrels? It was too wet. Afterwards, we went to a restaurant. It was 12 to a restaurant. It was 12 o'clock. We had walnut cake and sweet white wine. It was wonderful. So, William again. Well? Well? <laughs> <laughs> 3B. A walk in the woods. I saw William again on Wednesday, Winona. Oh, William again. <laughs> well, what happened? We went for a lovely walk in the woods. Oh, in the wet. Wasn't it very wet on Wednesday? It was very cold and wet, but we were wearing very warm clothes and we walked quickly to keep warm. Is that the woods next to the railway? It's not very quiet. Yes, but further away from the railway it was very quiet and there were wild squirrels everywhere. We counted 20 squirrels. 20 squirrels? And what did you do for lunch? A picnic with the squirrels? It was too wet. Afterwards we went to a restaurant it was 12 to a restaurant. It was 12 o'clock. We had walnut cake and sweet white wine. It was wonderful. So, William again. Well? Well? <laughs> 4A Where was it quiet? In the woods. What did they watch? The squirrels. What did they drink? Sweet white wine. Where were the squirrels? Everywhere. Why did they walk quickly? To keep warm. What did they eat for lunch? 
Walnut cake. What time did they have lunch? Twelve o'clock. What did William and Virginia do on Wednesday? Went for a walk. Four C. Who is? You are. Go away. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hello, Emma. Oh, I'm okay now. I had the flu and felt terrible. Who isn't here? Joe isn't. A few others aren't. Is Sue okay? Anybody know about Sue? I don't know if Sue is off with the flu as well. How do I get to a garage? You go under a bridge and through a village. Do you understand? No, I don't really. Oh, it's so unfair! You always get two ice creams. Grow up. Three B, not so stupid. Excuse me, did you used to live in York? Yes. Did you used to be a tutor at the university? Yes, for a few years. Do you remember Hugh Yip? He was a music student. Hugh Yip. Did he used to have a huge yellow jeep? Yes, and he used to play beautiful tunes on the tuba. Yes, I knew Hugh. He used to be a very stupid student. Do you have any news of Hugh? Yes, he's a millionaire now in New York. A millionaire playing the tuba? Oh no, he produces jam in tubes and tins of onion stew and sells them in Europe. I read about Hugh in the newspaper yesterday. Oh, well, he wasn't so stupid. Three B. Not so stupid. Excuse me, did you used to live in York? Yes. Did you used to be a tutor at the university? Yes, for a few years. Do you remember Hugh Yip? He was a music student. Hugh Yip. Did he used to have a huge yellow jeep? Yes, and he used to play beautiful tunes on the tuba. Yes, I knew Hugh. He used to be a very stupid student. Do you have any news of Hugh? Yes, he's a millionaire now in New York. A millionaire playing the tuba? Oh no, he produces jam in tubes and tins of onion stew and sells them in Europe. I read about Hugh in the newspaper yesterday. Oh, well, he wasn't so stupid. Four B. I agree. He is here. The way out. Let's play a card game. Okay, I'll deal. That boy is very rude. Yes, he ought to be more polite. Are those printouts of my emails? Yes, they are. He always feels sad when he's alone. I understand. I often do too. Say it again, please. I said today is my eightieth birthday. They all had a good cry at the funeral. There wasn't a dry eye in the church. Three B, a horrible accident. Hi, Holly. Emma, have you heard? There's been a horrible accident. Oh dear! What's happened? Helena's husband has had an accident on his horse. How awful! Is he injured? Yes, he's been taken to hospital in an ambulance. How did it happen? He was hit by an ice cream van. It was on the crossing just behind his house. How horrible! He's having an emergency operation in hospital now. Poor Helena, she's so unhappy. Perhaps he'll be all right, Holly. I hope so. 
Three B, a horrible accident. Hi, Holly. Emma, have you heard? There's been a horrible accident. Oh dear, what's happened? Helena's husband has had an accident on his horse. How awful! Is he injured? Yes, he's been taken to hospital in an ambulance. How did it happen? He was hit by an ice cream van. It was on the crossing just behind his house. How horrible! He's having an emergency operation in hospital now. Poor Helena, she's so unhappy. Perhaps he'll be all right, Holly. <sighs> I hope so. Four B, detective at work. Hello, hold on. It's Detective Inspector Aris, sir. One. Who found him? Two. What's his name? Harry. Three. Who else have you spoken to? She's his wife. Four. What's her phone number? She hasn't a phone. Has she got a mobile? Five. What has the neighbour said about him? Six. What had he eaten? Three B. Gossips. Samantha Roth is only thirty. Is she? I thought she was thirty-three. Samantha's birthday was last Thursday. Was it? I thought it was last month. The Roths' house is worth six hundred thousand. Is it? I thought it was worth three hundred thousand. Ross Roth is the author of a book about moths. Is he? I thought he was a mathematician. I'm so thirsty. Are you? I thought you drank something at the Roths. No, Samantha gave me nothing to drink. Shall I buy you a drink? Thank you. Three B. Gossips. Samantha Roth is only thirty. Is she? I thought she was thirty-three. Samantha's birthday was last Thursday. Was it? I thought it was last month. The Roths' house is worth six hundred thousand. Is it? I thought it was worth three hundred thousand. Ross Roth is the author of a book about moths. Is he? I thought he was a mathematician. I'm so thirsty. Are you? I thought you drank something at the Roths. No, Samantha gave me nothing to drink. Shall I buy you a drink? Thank you. Three B, the hat in the window. I want to buy the hat in the window. There are three hats together in the window, madam. Do you want the one with the feathers? No, the other one. The small one for three hundred and three euros. No, not that one either. The one over there, the leather one. Ah, the leather one. Now this is another leather hat, madam. It's better than the one in the window. It's a smoother leather. But I'd rather have the one in the window. It goes with my clothes. Certainly, madam. But we don't take anything out of the window until three o'clock on Thursday. Three B, the hat in the window. I want to buy the hat in the window. There are three hats together in the window, madam. Do you want the one with the feathers? No, the other one. The small one for three hundred and three euros. No, not that one either. The one over there. The leather one. Ah, the leather one. Now this is another leather hat, madam. It's better than the one in the window. It's a smoother leather. But I'd rather have the one in the window. It goes with my clothes. Certainly, madam. But we don't take anything out of the window until three o'clock on Thursday. Four A. Which hat? Do you think is better than the others? The one with the feathers, the leather hat.
The one for 303 euros. Test 3. I asked you a question, Wesley. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you, Yasmin. You often do that, and I always get annoyed. Oh, is that so? Why is that, Yasmin? It's just annoying. Why are you doing it, Wesley? Just to annoy you, Yasmin. Test 3. I asked you a question, Wesley. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you, Yasmin. You often do that, and I always get annoyed. Oh, is that so? Why is that, Yasmin? It's just annoying. Why are you doing it, Wesley? Just to annoy you, Yasmin. 3B. Mum's Muffins Mum, may Tim Mitchum come home with me for tea tomorrow? Of course, Malcolm. Have I met Tim before? You met him in the summer. He's very small. Oh, yes, I remember Tim. He's very smart and he has charming manners. Does his family come from Cambridge? Yes. And... Oh, Mum, will you make some homemade muffins tomorrow? Hmm, maybe, if I have time. I told Tim about your muffins, Mum. That's why he's coming for tea tomorrow. 3B. Mum's Muffins Mum, may Tim Mitchum come home with me for tea tomorrow? Of course, Malcolm. Have I met Tim before? You met him in the summer. He's very small. Oh, yes, I remember Tim. He's very smart and he has charming manners. Does his family come from Cambridge? Yes. And... Oh, Mum, will you make some homemade muffins tomorrow? Hmm, maybe, if I have time. I told Tim about your muffins, Mum. That's why he's coming for tea tomorrow. 4A 1. I like your new jumper. Hmm? I said I like your new jumper. Thank you. 2. Shall we go out for dinner tonight? Hmm. Chinese or Thai? Thai. 3. Here's your birthday present. Mmm. I'm glad you like it. Mmm. It's so beautiful. Thank you. 4. Hmm. I'm trying to decide what to make for lunch. Hmm. Any suggestions? Mmm. Macaroni? Or... Mmm. Minestrone? Or... Mmm. Just a salad? I think I'll make... Mmm. Macaroni. Mmm. And a salad. 4C. Would you like some homemade muffins? Hmm? Would you like some muffins? Hmm. Well, make up your mind. Hmm. Here you are. Hmm. I'm glad you like them. I made them myself. Would you like to try them with marmalade? Hmm? Marmalade. They're marvellous with marmalade. Would you like some? Hmm. Here you are. Hmm. 3B. At an accommodation agency. Good morning. My name is Martin Nelson. Are you the manager? Yes, I am. How can I help you, Mr. Nelson? I want an apartment in central London. Certainly, Mr. Nelson. How much rent do you want to pay? No more than £1,000 a month. £1,000 a month? <laughs> we don't often have apartments as inexpensive as that. Not in central London. We have one apartment for £2,179 a month in Notting Hill. It's down near the station in North End Avenue. 
Is it furnished? No, it's unfurnished. The kitchen has no oven. It's forbidden to use the garden. No friends in the apartment after 11 in the evening. No noise and no television after 11.15 after 11 p.m. No... No, thank you. I want an apartment, not a prison. 3B. At an accommodation agency. Good morning. My name is Martin Nelson. Are you the manager? Yes, I am. How can I help you, Mr. Nelson? I want an apartment in central London. Certainly, Mr. Nelson. How much rent do you want to pay? No more than £1,000 a month. £1,000 a month? <laughs> we don't often have apartments as inexpensive as that. Not in central London. We have one apartment for £2,179 a month in Notting Hill. It's down near the station in North End Avenue. Is it furnished? No, it's unfurnished. The kitchen has no oven. It's forbidden to use the garden. No friends in the apartment after 11 in the evening. No noise and no television after 11.15 an p.m. No... No, thank you. I want an apartment, not a prison. Four A. One. Seven. Eleven. Nine. Ten. Thirteen. Seventeen. Fifteen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Seventy. Seventy-one. Seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, ninety, ninety-one. Ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. Three B. Noisy neighbors. Bang, 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 Sharon. What are the Langs doing at nine o'clock on Sunday morning? Well, Angus Lang is singing, Duncan. Yes, but what's the banging noise, Sharon? Angus is standing on a ladder and banging some nails into the wall with a hammer. Now he's hanging some strong string on the nails. And what's Susan Lang doing? Susan's bringing something interesting for Angus to drink. Now she's putting it under the ladder and... Oh! What's happening? The ladder's going. What's happening to swing? What's Angus doing? He's holding the string in his fingers and he's shouting to Susan. And is Susan helping him? No. She's running to our house. Now she's ringing our bell. I'm not going to answer it. I'm sleeping. 3B. Noisy neighbours. Sharon.
Karen, what are the Langs doing at nine o'clock on Sunday morning? Well, Angus Lang is singing, Duncan. Yes, but what's the banging noise, Sharon? Angus is standing on a ladder and banging some nails into the wall with a hammer. Now he's hanging some strong string on the nails. And what's Susan Lang doing? Susan's bringing something interesting for Angus to drink. Now she's putting it under the ladder and... Oh! What's happening? The ladder's going. What's doing? What's Angus doing? He's holding the string in his fingers and he's shouting to Susan. And is Susan helping him? No. She's running to our house. Now she's ringing our bell. I'm not going to answer it. I'm sleeping. 4A Example What's Sharon King doing? She's looking out of the window. 1 What's Angus Lang doing? He's banging some nails into the wall. 2 What's Angus doing? He's hanging some strong string on the nails. 3. What's Susan Lang doing? She's bringing something for Angus to drink. 4. What's Mr. Lang doing? Mr. Lang. What's Mr. Lang doing? He's holding the string. 5. What's Mrs. Lang doing? She's ringing the bell. 6. What's Duncan King doing? He's sleeping. 3B. Early for lunch at the office canteen. Hello, Leslie. Hello, Mrs. Carpello. You're very early for lunch. It's only 11 o'clock. When I come later, there's usually nothing left. What would you like, Mrs. Carpello? Leg of lamb, please. And would you like a plate of salad? It's lettuce with black olives. Mmm, lovely. I really like olives. A glass of lemonade? Yes, please. I'd like that. And I'd love a slice of melon and some of that yellow jelly. 3B. Early for lunch at the office canteen. Hello, Leslie. Hello, Mrs. Carpello. You're very early for lunch. It's only 11 o'clock. When I come later, there's usually nothing left. What would you like, Mrs. Carpello? Leg of lamb, please. And would you like a plate of salad? It's lettuce with black olives. Mmm, lovely. I really like olives. A glass of lemonade? Yes, please. I'd like that. And I'd love a slice of melon and some of that yellow jelly. 4C. A spoilt little boy in a bicycle shop. Ah, oh, what a beautiful bicycle. Paul, be careful. Excuse me, sir. This child is too small to ride this bicycle. It's a very difficult bicycle. Be to... careful, Paul. You always tell me to be careful. Don't help me. I won't fall. But, sir, this is a very special bicycle. It's... Don't pull the bicycle, Uncle Bill. I'll do it myself. Be sensible, Paul. This gentleman says it's a... Uh... <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> it was Uncle Bill's fault. He was holding the bicycle. Ow. 4C. A spoilt little boy in a bicycle shop. Ah, oh, what a beautiful bicycle. Paul, be careful. 
Excuse me, sir. This child is too small to ride this bicycle. It's a very difficult bicycle. Be to... careful, Paul. You always tell me to be careful. Don't help me. I won't fall. But, sir, this is a very special bicycle. It's. Don't pull the bicycle, Uncle Bill. I'll do it myself. Be sensible, Paul. This gentleman says it's a. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> It was Uncle Bill's fault. He was holding the bicycle. Ow. 3B. A proud parent. Are all the children grown up now, Ruth? Oh, yes, Lara. Ruby is the cleverest one. She's a librarian in the public library. Very interesting. And what about Laura? She's a secretary at the Central Railway Station. And what about Rose? She was always a very pretty child. Rose is a waitress in a restaurant in Paris. She's married to an electrician. And what about Jerry and Roland? Jerry drives a lorry. He drives everywhere in Europe. Really? Which countries does he drive to? France and Austria and Greece and Russia. And does Roland drive a lorry too? Oh, no. Roland is a pilot, Lara. Really? Which countries does he fly to? Australia and America. 3B. A proud parent. Are all the children grown up now, Ruth? Oh, yes, Lara. Ruby is the cleverest one. She's a librarian in the public library. Very interesting. And what about Laura? She's a secretary at the Central Railway Station. And what about Rose? She was always a very pretty child. Rose is a waitress in a restaurant in Paris. She's married to an electrician. And what about Jerry and Roland? Jerry drives a lorry. He drives everywhere in Europe. Really? Which countries does he drive to? France and Austria and Greece and Russia. And does Roland drive a lorry too? Oh, no. Roland is a pilot, Lara. Really? Which countries does he fly to? Australia and America. RT Airways flight number 447 to New York will depart later this afternoon at 16.40 hours. Wonderful. I'm going to the bar to order some more German beer. Where's the bar? It's upstairs. There's a bookshop too, and a supermarket. This is a marvellous airport. Oh, dear. I wanted to get to New York earlier. Ah, here's an air hostess. Excuse me, I don't understand. Has there been an emergency? Oh, no, sir. There's just a storm, and the weather forecast says it will get worse. So the plane will leave a little later this afternoon. Are you sure? Oh, yes, sir. Our departure time is at 4.40 this afternoon. 4B. In the airport. RT Airways flight number 447 to New York will depart later this afternoon at 16.40 hours. Wonderful. I'm going to the bar to order some more German beer. Where's the bar? It's upstairs. There's a bookshop too. And a supermarket. This is a marvellous airport. Oh dear. I wanted to get to New York earlier. Ah, here's an air hostess. Excuse me, I don't understand. Has there been an emergency? Oh, no, sir. There's just a storm, and the weather forecast says it will get worse. So the plane will leave a little later this afternoon. Are you sure? Oh, yes, sir. Our departure time is at 4.40 this afternoon. 3B. Noisy neighbours. Sharon, what are the Langs doing at nine o'clock on Sunday morning? Well, Angus Lang is singing, Duncan. Yes, but what's the banging noise, Sharon? Angus is standing on a ladder and banging some nails into the wall with a hammer. 
Now he's hanging some strong string on the nails. And what's Susan Lang doing? Susan's bringing something interesting for Angus to drink. Now she's putting it under the ladder and... Oh! What's happening? The ladder's going. What's acting to swing? What's Angus doing? He's holding the string in his fingers and he's shouting to Susan. And is Susan helping him? No. She's running to our house. Now she's ringing our bell. I'm not going to answer it. I'm sleeping. 3B. Noisy neighbours. Sharon, what are the Langs doing at nine o'clock on Sunday morning? Well, Angus Lang is singing, Duncan. Yes, but what's the banging noise, Sharon? Angus is standing on a ladder and banging some nails into the wall with a hammer. Now he's hanging some strong string on the nails. And what's Susan Lang doing? Susan's bringing something interesting for Angus to drink. Now she's putting it under the ladder and... Oh! What's happening? The ladder's going. What's going? What's Angus doing? He's holding the string in his fingers and he's shouting to Susan. And is Susan helping him? No. She's running to our house. Now she's ringing our bell. I'm not going to answer it. I'm sleeping. 3B. Early for lunch at the office canteen. Hello, Leslie. Hello, Mrs Carpello. You're very early for lunch. It's only 11 o'clock. When I come later, there's usually nothing left. What would you like, Mrs Carpello? Leg of lamb, please. And would you like a plate of salad? It's lettuce with black olives. Mmm, lovely. I really like olives. A glass of lemonade? Yes, please. I'd like that. And I'd love a slice of melon and some of that yellow jelly. 4C. A spoilt little boy in a bicycle shop. Ah, oh, what a beautiful bicycle. Paul, be careful. Excuse me, sir. This child is too small to ride this bicycle. It's a very difficult bicycle. Be to... careful, Paul. You always tell me to be careful. Don't help me. I won't fall. But, sir, this is a very special bicycle. It's... Don't pull the bicycle, Uncle Bill. I'll do it myself. Be sensible, Paul. This gentleman says it's a... Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> It was Uncle Bill's fault. He was holding the bicycle. Ow. Three B, a proud parent. Are all the children grown up now, Ruth? Oh yes, Lara. Ruby is the cleverest one. She's a librarian in the public library. Very interesting. And what about Laura? She's a secretary at the Central Railway Station. And what about Rose? She was always a very pretty child. Hmm. Rose is a waitress in a restaurant in Paris. She's married to an electrician. And what about Jerry and Roland? Jerry drives a lorry. He drives everywhere in Europe. Really? Which countries does he drive to? France and Austria and Greece and Russia. And does Roland drive a lorry too? Oh no, Roland is a pilot, Lara. Really? Which countries does he fly to? Australia and America. 3B, a proud parent. Are all the children grown up now, Ruth? Oh yes, Lara. Ruby is the cleverest one. She's a librarian in the public library. Very interesting. And what about Laura? She's a secretary at the Central Railway Station. And what about Rose? 
She was always a very pretty child. Rose is a waitress in a restaurant in Paris. She's married to an electrician. And what about Jerry and Roland? Jerry drives a lorry. He drives everywhere in Europe. Really? Which countries does he drive to? France and Austria and Greece and Russia. And does Roland drive a lorry too? Oh no, Roland is a pilot, Lara. Really? Which countries does he fly to? Australia and America. RT Airways flight number 447 to New York will depart later this afternoon at 16.40 hours. Wonderful. I'm going to the bar to order some more German beer. Where's the bar? It's upstairs. There's a bookshop too, and a supermarket. This is a marvellous airport. Oh dear. I wanted to get to New York earlier. Ah, here's an air hostess. Excuse me, I don't understand. Has there been an emergency? Oh no, sir. There's just a storm, and the weather forecast says it will get worse. So the plane will leave a little later this afternoon. Are you sure? Oh yes, sir. Our departure time is at 4.40 this afternoon. 4B. In the airport. RT Airways flight number 447 to New York will depart later this afternoon at 16.40 hours. Wonderful. I'm going to the bar to order some more German beer. Where's the bar? It's upstairs. There's a bookshop too. And a supermarket. This is a marvellous airport. Oh dear. I wanted to get to New York earlier. Ah, here's an air hostess. Excuse me. I don't understand. Has there been an emergency? Oh no, sir. There's just a storm. And the weather forecast says it will get worse. So the plane will leave a little later this afternoon. Are you sure? Oh yes, sir. Our departure time is at 4.40 this afternoon. Casualty 2B Michelle has a job in a shop selling casual shoes. She also has a casual job doing sports massage. She does sports massage occasionally, not every day. Yesterday, Michelle saw a collision outside the shoe shop. She was measuring a shoe for a customer. An injurance took two injured people to casualty. 3B Sharon, Sean, Charlotte and Mrs Marsh are watching television. These are the television programs on Channel 5. 7 o'clock Children's film Treasure Island 7.15 News update An unusual collision 7.30 Fashion show Casual clothes 7.45 Travel film Crossing Asia 8.15 Do-it-yourself show How to measure a new garage 8.30 Variety show It's a pleasure 3B Sharon, Sean, Charlotte and Mrs Marsh are watching television These are the television programs on Channel 5 7 o'clock Children's film Treasure Island. 7.15. News update. An unusual collision. 7.30. Fashion show. Casual clothes. 7.45. Travel film. Crossing Asia. 8.15. Do-it-yourself show. How to measure a new garage. 8.30. Variety show. It's a pleasure. 2B. Michelle has a job in a shop selling casual shoes. She also has a casual job doing sports massage. She does sports massage occasionally, not every day. Yesterday, 
Michelle saw a collision outside the shoe shop. She was measuring a shoe for a customer. An ad people lance took two injured people to casualty. 3B. Sharon, Sean, Charlotte, and Mrs. Marsh are watching television. These are the television programs on Channel 5. 7 o'clock. Children's film. Treasure Island. 7.15. News update. An unusual collision. 7.30. Fashion show. Casual clothes. 7.45. Travel film. Crossing Asia. 8.15. Do-it-yourself show. How to measure a new garage. 8.30. Variety show. It's a pleasure.